everybody. This is Praxis, and I'm here on site. A bunch went down yesterday. Uh, yesterday morning, I got a call uh, uh, like 8 o'clock in the morning from the plumber that said they were here on site. They hadn't told me they were going to show up yesterday morning, uh, but they were having trouble finding the the pass-through for, for the, the septic, the sewage stuff to be going out. You can look along this wall behind you. You can see the place where there's the orange paint. That's where it actually is. There's another uh, shoveling they did over here in the middle. They had no idea where to go. I said, sorry about that, but you know, if I had known you were showing up, I would have marked it for you. Uh, so anyway, I told them where it was. It was pretty easy to describe because it's on right, of, right on one of these little seams between the concrete forms. I described it to them over the phone, and then I figured, I'm going to come down in case there's any other questions. So came over here. Uh, they were working on all this. You can see all this black pipe here. This is all the drainage pipe that's going to be below the, uh, the floor down in this basement uh, level. This is a, a downstairs bathroom right here. And um, they, they threw all this stuff in yesterday. Now it's ready for inspection. It's left open so the inspector can come and look at it, sign off on it, then we can actually start uh, you know, filling in this area. Uh, also yesterday, I was working a little bit on this center beam, and I realized that we have a bit of a problem uh, where the lolly columns, those are metal support beams that are, ex uh, these are extendable ones, their maximum extension length is 7 foot 9 inches. And that would have been fine if I hadn't, in the middle of pouring the concrete wall, decided that instead of an 8 foot wall, why don't we make it 9, nine feet? I'm like, eh, what's an extra foot? It only costs a little bit of extra concrete at the top, get all that extra headroom, more shelf space and everything. Uh, I made that decision not realizing it was going to impact these lolly columns because they were just barely going to make it before uh, they came with the kit. And, and now they don't make it. So what I'm going to be... Uh, well, there's two options. I could buy new lolly columns, which would be kind of expensive. And the lolly columns that I had, I can't really return because they've been out in the rain. The boxes are all wrecked and everything. So, uh, you know, me, I don't like waste. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can use the lolly columns. And the approach that I have is to put some blocks down, uh, some solid uh, uh, cement blocks, uh, at the top, uh, at the bottom here, and maybe some uh, pressure-treated wood pads at the top. And actually putting a pad at the top uh, is a way of kind of um, uh, distributing the load onto the lolly column. is probably not a bad thing anyway. Uh, and so I'm, I'm taking some measurements here, and it looks like, uh, I did, did my measurements, it looks like I need to make up about 9 inches. Uh, and that, that, could be, that could work out all right, because there are 3-inch concrete blocks, and if I put two of those at the bottom, that could be okay. And then at the top, I could just put two runs of pressure-treated wood. Uh, two runs would be an inch and a half plus an inch and a half. And that should give me my nine inches. Uh, so that should work out all right. Um, so that's what I'm going to uh, try to do. But the only question is whether I can put two uh, concrete blocks under the floor without them sticking out above the floor. So I've got this string here, this little blue string. And I've got a level on it. And I want to see whether or not I can do that. So... I'm just looking at the bubble in here, and I'm going to bring the, the string up to where the, the, the bubble is nice and level. Okay, here we go. Wow, this floor is pretty high. The floor height is going to be matched to the top of the sill plate. You can see where this blue string is going over to. Okay, so that looks... Like just about level right there. So what I gotta figure out is whether I can fit two three inch blocks under there. It looks like I can. It looks like we're gonna be fine. So the floor height is ultimately gonna be here. Can I put oh yeah, I totally can. I can get nine inches under there. So this, this surface here is nine inches below where the finished floor is gonna be. You don't wanna have the blocks too close to the top because then that could, um, uh, you know, as the concrete settles, it could kind of crack around the block or whatever. But as long as it's pretty far down there, I think we should be pretty good. So that's good, I've got a good nine, almost nine and a half inches down there. So that's gonna work out all right. So whenever you're doing any kind of a project, there's always curveballs, and you know, you can throw your hands up in the air and just get really frustrated by it and say, oh, this is awful, it's all falling apart. Or, you know, you can adapt and, you know, come up with some alternate solutions. There were a couple different solutions we could have uh, used for this, and I think I'm gonna go with the one that doesn't involve having extra lolly columns that I can't use kicking around forever. Because I'm a prepper, and I, I, I wouldn't throw them away. <laughs> I keep them for some reason. <laughs> I'd rather just put them into this wall. That's it, thanks for watching.